Caitlin with West Palm Dog, and today I'm here with Daisy, and we're going to be working on her go to bed a little bit. Oh my goodness. So what I'm going to do just to get her warmed up is I'm going to toss a treat. Daisy, go to bed. Yes. Now she's only halfway on the map. That's okay with me. Now what I'm going to do, treat her. Stay. And the goal here is that I at least want 30 seconds with me being able to drop a couple treats around her. So what I'm gonna do, Daisy, leave it. Yes. And so I'm gonna start dropping treats around Daisy and she cannot touch the treats no matter what. We also got a couple distractions in the background. There's some dogs on the other side of the door and there's also dogs barking in the room. So we're gonna use those as ample distractions as well as the food. Daisy, leave it. Yes. Stay. So I'm going to start walking around, Daisy. Daisy, leave it. Yes. Leave it. going on right now so I'm giving more treats than I usually would. Daisy's doing really good. I'm going to do one more round of dropping treats. Daisy, leave it. Daisy, leave it. So you see I vocally corrected Daisy with a negative noise and that managed to stop her from getting the treat. That would be considered breaking so she's not going to get rewarded for returning to the go to bed position because she broke. Whenever a dog breaks, we don't want to reward them right away. We want to wait. Daisy, leave it. Yes. Okay, one more. Daisy, leave it. Yes. And then when I'm ready to release Daisy, I'm just going to tap on the head, okay? Daisy, okay? And that was a really good down state from Daisy, or sorry, go to bed from Daisy. Now, of course, the goal is that we do want to get her eventually to one minute, but with as many distractions lying around her, the fact that she's still lying down right here, even after being released, is a really good sign. Very proud of Daisy right now. Hey, good job, girlie.